retro games on Android. Just hearing this tune brings back memories. Now maybe you're frustrated with in-app purchases on Android games, maybe you're nostalgic, or maybe you just want to utilize the freedom Android has to offer. Anyway, in today's video, let's take a look at the awesome emulators that run well on Android and the huge gaming libraries we can take advantage of. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. Card to a latest giveaway, links in the description below. Also down there, you'll find that tiny little bell icon, ring it, become part of our notification squad. Let's get started. So first up, we have everyone's favorite Game Boy Advance with Pokemon on it, Pokemon Emerald to be precise. If you are a 90s kid, you'd most probably recognize at least one of these three starters, Starchick, Mudkip and Trico. There's gotta be a lot of GBA emulators out there, but our emulator of choice here, Classic Boy. Now there are a lot of emulators out there that can play GBA and Game Boy Color games, but why do we choose Classic Boy? It's because it uh, supports a lot of other platforms and it is real easy to get uh, get up and running. Now I know a few of you are right now going into the comments and typing something like, Hey Ash, where do we find these ROMs? You know, I'm not going to link you to that, but then Google is your friend, so just Google it. The Game Boy Advance has a lot of awesome games and this is one library I've tapped into more than once. Now the DS is another console you can emulate. It brings better graphics and Drastic has been my emulator of choice for DS games. I spent a lot of time with this one too. The 3DS can be emulated too but that has a bit of glitches here and there. Uh, Ultimate X 3DS X is one that I haven't personally tried out yet but I've heard good things about. So check that out, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, so between the Game Boy Advance, the 3DS and the DS, we have a ton of games that were built for handhelds that work extremely well on Android with the landscape orientation, half of it doubling as, I mean the two screens can get fit into it. So it's a, it's quite a good uh, implementation on Android phones. Now moving on from Pokemon games of the early 2000s to something even older and even more challenging, SNES, Super Nintendo and Nintendo. Uh, SNES and NES games. Now, before we had save states, before we had recovering health, we had games like Contra and Mario Bros. You know, one hit, you die, and you've got very limited lives. These games are not demanding at all and play perfectly via emulators, even on the lowest end hardware uh, on Android devices. And given the few buttons they use, touch controls are usually good enough to have a satisfying experience. The experience does get better if you have a real controller, though. Now the SNES 9X EX Plus is one of the best emulators out there. It also has fantastic controller support. Now one thing all emulators share is save states, so you can quickly take a snapshot of any point of the game and if you die, you can reload it from there. So you don't have to wait for a level to finish or reach a save point and if needed, you even get options to speed up gameplay. Another cool emulator is Dolphin. This is one of the most powerful emulators out there. It can play almost any Wii or GameCube title. And here you do need a fairly powerful device. We ran all of these emulators on a Pixel 2 XL and even with an A35 under the hood, some of the Wii games struggled a bit. While the Wii might offer the most beautiful of emulated graphics, most Wii games do need Wii controllers, the nunchucks, to be able to play them. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but hey, we always have some titles like Super Smash Bros or Donkey Kong that work well with the traditional controller. So if you ever do get tired of playing PUBG or Fortnite on your phones and want to instead collect coins and jump on Cooper Troopers in Mario World, well you can. Your Android phone or tablet can handle all this. So let me know what you think about these emulators and more importantly, if you do end up trying them out, let me know how they worked on your phone or tablet. And guys, here's a disclaimer. If you do end up getting into emulators, something like a Pokemon or Zelda would easily end up sucking 50 plus hours of your life. So be warned. Anyway, I think I've rambled on for long enough. If you do like this video, if you feel this brought back childhood memories, then go ahead, give it a share and also thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you feel. And do let me know in the comments if you want me to do a follow up for this with I mean, this was heavily focused on Nintendo emulation. Maybe next time we can focus a little bit on Sony. So, you know, do you want a part two to this, focusing on other emulators? Let me know in the comments below. And again, this has been part of the experimentation we've been doing here on C4E Tech. So let us know what you think about videos like this. Do you want to see more content like this? 
And I guess that's it. Do subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.